Xia Yuan, a scumbag who is still at the bottom of the world in Mass Effect, was saved by a system called Adventure during a pirate invasion and was about to die. In order to save his life, he had to act as a mercenary in various game worlds to seize gas or important objects for the system. Therefore, he browsed. The Toes system of Watchdog, Nova 6 from Call of Duty 5 and Call of Duty 7, multifunctional parasites in Metal Gear. Phantom Pain T. Virus, G. Virus, V. Virus, and Sunflower Primitive Virus in Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil 1, and Resident Evil 3 Alien Spacecraft, Rift Valley Weapons, and Biomimetic Technology in Fallout. 3 slash New Vegas slash 4 Cyberspace in Cyberpunk 2077 but Xia Yuan also has his ambition. He wants to climb to a higher level of life through this system. Although it is also being utilized by the system, he believes that the person who laughs last is the happiest until he discovered that the secret to the truth was actually in the Andromeda universe. Keywords of the novel The Executor of the Heavens Starting from the Watchdog with no pop-ups, The Executor of the Heavens Starting from the Watchdog, download the complete text, The Executor of the Heavens Starting from the Watchdog, read the latest chapters Chapter 1 Crossing into Eden Pierce You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Crossing into Eden Pierce Aiden, are you okay? Aiden, wake up, you're driving. Aiden Oh my! Xia Yuan was startled and his eyes widened as he looked ahead. How could this be a highway? Squeak! With one foot on the brake, the car suddenly came to a stop. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I'm still alive. Xia Yuan began to take deep breaths. Aiden. What's wrong with you? A blonde young woman suddenly jumped from the back seat to the driver's seat and asked with concern. I'm fine, Nina, just suddenly lost consciousness just now. Although it was the first time occupying this body, according to memory reminders, Xia Yuan knew that this woman was his sister, Nicole Pierce. He finally remembered his goal. His name is Xia Yuan, and he is currently following the requirements of the portable system to attach consciousness to the target Aiden Pierce for a period of time. Damn the system! Why has he traveled to the second world? The first thing he remembers is the dying memory after being hit by a large caliber machine gun. Even to this point in his body, his waist would still instinctively ache. Do you need me to drive? Nicole asked herself with concern, and she had already planned to get off and change people. Because of this sudden stop, the cars behind her started honking and urging. No, 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 Xia Yuan couldn't give up his driver's seat, otherwise how could he solve the next assassination crisis? I just had a moment of confusion, I'm sure I'm okay now. Aiden, are you tired? The beautiful blonde girl sitting next to the passenger seat asked Xia Yuan in a caring tone. Xia Yuan looked at the little girl lovingly, who was Nina Pierce, the niece of Aiden whom he possessed. Sister Nicole's daughter is also one of the most important protection targets in one of the branch missions. Yeah, Aiden, are you feeling very tired? Last night, I saw that you weren't programming and parsing software all night like before, so I think it's not a big deal for you to drive. And I, who was sitting in the back seat of the car again, could use a tone of criticism and concern to advise Xia Yuan, if you're tired, you should tell me earlier and let me drive. Right parsing software. Okay, this is an important weapon for hackers. I heard that most hackers can only purchase parsing software written by others. I didn't expect Aiden to be able to program on his own, no wonder he could be accepted by the system and make a wish. A high-dot-level hacker is basically very popular in the middle and low-dot-level technology world. Believe me, I can drive. Let's leave here first, the people behind are going to rush. Seeing someone behind open the car door and get off the car to check, Xia Yuan insisted on continuing to drive and taking immediate action. Start the engine, pull the handbrake, and leave with a snort. Xia Yuan, 18 years old this year, 
was born in 2154, a human outer space colony called Minder in a future space world. At the age of 16, Wan Yong Tool suddenly received an email with a paragraph and a book containing the detailed rules of the Dragon Elephant Prajnaparamita technique. The adventure system welcomes newcomers. As the selected ones, we specially offer the advanced skill, Dragon Elephant Prajnaparamita, with infinite possibilities as a life.saving foundation. Please master levels 1.3 as soon as possible before summoning. At the beginning, when he received this strange information, Xia Yuan only treated it as a fraudulent advertisement, except for the martial arts material called Dragon Elephant Prajnaparamita skill, which really attracted Xia Yuan. Because in this world, Xia Yuan is also a scumbag with no skills. He wants to see if he can change his fate by learning martial arts and joining the army when he grows up. So he started practicing dragon elephant art with the attitude of a dead horse becoming a living horse doctor, but unfortunately, two years later, he entered the so dot called third level and remained unchanged except for his strength. Immediately after, he encountered the invasion of pirates and almost died under the cannon of a small spaceship while resisting them. At this dying moment, a message suddenly appeared on the universal tool. The recruitment mode was activated and it was detected that the host was already on the brink of death. Whether to activate the Huabei mode immediately repaired the body and welcomed the trial in a full state. If denied, it would continue to leave the world behind. There was only a dead end to continuing the legacy, and with no other choice, he ultimately agreed. In this way, the white light was summoned into the void by the system in a flash. The business of the adventure system is diverse, but as a newcomer, he is exposed to the wishing tree system. When the wishing person has a strong desire that is captured by the adventure system, the system will accept the wish and fulfill the agreement with the wishing person in the form of a contract. It promises to fulfill the wish of the maker, but requires a mutual gambling agreement to be set up. For the wishing person, the better the result is achieved, the more time they need to actively work for the system, or invest their own luck and expensive technology slash possessions to compensate for the system. And this time, Xia Yuan was dispatched by the system to replace the original owner's consciousness and use appropriate means to fulfill the basic wishes of the wishing person. In order to maintain basic combat effectiveness through consciousness transmigration, Xia Yuan was also granted an additional technology-assisted ability that can only be used in the technological world. Unlocking the Omani tool in his world. Omni Universal Tools is a handheld device that integrates microcomputers, analysis and detection kits, and small manufacturing tools. Versatile and reliable, the Omni One tool can remotely analyze and adjust most standard equipment, including weapons, armor, and electronic devices. The production module can quickly convert ordinary and reusable industrial plastics, ceramics, and light alloys into pure material blocks. This feature can be used to repair and modify most standard props, as well as to reuse discarded equipment. Everything comes at a cost, and he must voluntarily pledge the actual benefits of both worlds, such as energy gains and task gains, to the system as collateral for all the costs of life. Saving and technological cheats. As Xia Yuan silently recited system task requirements, a large amount of system data immediately appeared in front of him. Task project. Huabei repayment, one half, task intervention in the world. Watchdog intervention scope. Fengcheng Intervention Method Consciousness Substitution Eden Pierce Main Task Start after completing Branch Task 1 Regional Tasks 1. Reverse the fate of niece Nina Pierce's death in a car accident Main Task, Ongoing, Eden Pierce, a former information technology criminal, also known as a hacker. He hopes the system can save his niece who died due to his mistake and reunite his sister's family. So when the system used a device that seemed to follow the law of causality to eerily send Xia Yuan's consciousness into Aiden's body, in addition to the main task, the most important task received was to save Nina. He seems to have been sent by the system onto a section of interstate highway in front of the tunnel on the eve of an unexpected traffic accident. 
Look, it's very stable. I say I'm good, Xia Yuan comforted them as they drove steadily on the interstate highway, carefully looking at the English filled signs on the road. There were still five miles away from the tunnel, and Xia Yuan suddenly felt that it was better for everyone to just go back like this, allowing the assassins to pounce on it. Although this was a bit taken for granted, the assassin was not a character who would give up if they couldn't do it once. At this moment, Nephew Pixun had already collapsed lazily on the back of his chair and complained, Uncle Aiden, when can we go to Ocean Park to play? Play. Today, the whole family's lives may have to be entrusted here. Do you still want to play? If it weren't for fear of scaring the child, he would have wanted to stare at Pixun and ask a question. He wanted to propose cancelling the trip to the Ocean Park, but unfortunately, a mysterious force kept preventing him from continuing. Can't even pronounce syllables. How could it be? Xia Yuan guessed in surprise. System warning, no longer repeated. There is a huge risk of making significant changes to past history. Please be cautious when operating. Remember the butterfly rule, and do as much as you can to achieve great things. These two sentences suddenly appeared in front of Xia Yuan's retina, and after reading them, he had a MMP that he wanted to say. Are there any restrictions on this type of operation? Xia Yuan could only grit his head and stop what he had to say, changing his smiling face to look at Pixun and saying, H-E-Y, don't look at the long road, kid. But it's just like going hiking. The harder the process, the more worthwhile the scenery will be after reaching the peak. We just need to be patient and wait. In fact, Shanghai Dolphin also wants to see you sooner. Okay. Perhaps accepting this explanation, the boy's face calmed down and he asked with a cheerful expression, Aiden, can you drive faster? It's like a taxi express. Um. Actually, Xia Yuan also wanted to drive faster, but considering that if he drove too fast in the tunnel, the possibility of being disturbed and overturned by the killer would be greater. One more thing, Xia Yuan secretly glanced in the rearview mirror and saw Nicole's expression on her face, do you dare to drive? She didn't dare to act recklessly. But after reading Nicole's eye contact, he secretly glanced at his face in the rearview mirror. Well, I have to say that Aiden is quite durable. The unique brown-haired white face of Northern Irish people, with angular facial curves, is not handsome, but has a strong temperament. The only downside is that I'm a bit old, looking around 30 or 40 years old, but there's nothing to choose from. Upon reflection, Xia Yuan still had to answer the little ghost's question, at least explaining why he couldn't drive recklessly. In addition to not saying in person that he wanted to prevent being overturned by the killer, he had to come up with a good reason. There is a saying from the East that goes well. Driving improperly can bring tears to your loved ones. Despite the fact that the taxi express drives fast, he always drives safely with his closest person. Anyway, he never saw the protagonist driving his wife so fast, just fooling around like that. And I feel like you often drive in a daze. Even my sister couldn't bear it anymore. I told you not to stay up all night writing code, didn't you read the news? How many people died suddenly because of staying up late continuously? If anything happens to you. I don't want Jackson and Nina to lose their uncles so early. Ah uh, ah. Uh. Oh, I know, I will do it for them. Aiden suddenly realized and let out a rooster crow, making Jackson and Nina laugh happily. But to be honest, Xia Yuan has never encountered a situation where his uncle takes on the role of a father. Mainly, the combined age of Xia Yuan's consciousness is comparable to that of Aiden, by five or six years, and his mentality is quite young. He also has this common problem among young people. Just after driving for a while, he felt a bit bored and directly turned on the local Fengqing NBC radio. Unexpectedly, as soon as the broadcast started, the news broadcast of Fengqing NBC was broadcasted, which told a sudden news story. A lady named Rose was killed at the Merlot Hotel in the east of Medmel. The perpetrator is still unknown. Ms. Rose has been killed. 
Xie Yuan couldn't help but feel a stir in his heart, as this could definitely be the real trigger for the Aiden tragedy. Because according to Xie Yuan's review of Aiden's past memories, on the day of Ms. Rose's death, it happened to be when they planned to go to the Merlot Hotel to commit the crime. And Aiden has always suspected that his true identity was exposed here, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Encountering Assassination You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Encountering Assassination Do you want to say that Eden Pierce is a good person? He probably doesn't even admit it himself. Or he can't fully admit it. Firstly, he is an unemployed wanderer without a legitimate profession. However, according to the cultural customs of this country, one should be called a freelancer, a hacker proficient in computer technology. His proficiency lies in being one of the few elite hackers who can hack into urban public systems and steal confidential information with just one mobile phone. Secondly, Aiden has a thick record of mild crimes, including but not limited to computer fraud, large dot scale theft, and even spent 11 months in labor for it in the past. Until now, he still bears a bounty on his name for illegal invasion, possession of weapons, and theft, but it is not his real name. Based on the above two points, Eden Pierce's background appears very clear, as he is a cyber thief in a gray area. Sometimes we crack down on violent crimes in the alleys, but more often than not, we use advanced computing systems to crack electronic accounts, steal electronic account deposits, and make a living. There is a saying that goes, the geese pecked at me all day long. It was during an electronic account theft operation at the Merlot Hotel that he and his mentor Damien lost control, which led to the beginning of a series of tragedies that followed. The trigger was the death of Ms. Rose Washington, who was killed on the same day at the Merlot Hotel, perhaps because they were being targeted. Rose Washington, a social philanthropist with a significant influence in politics, is rumored to be the mayor's girlfriend. Although both parties have not publicly confirmed or denied the authenticity of the information, there are photos of the two parties sharing information online. Two days ago, at an ordinary cocktail party, she was found dead in the luxurious suite of the Merlot Hotel, strangled to death. But the police did not even have any clues to potential suspects, and the investigation into the case was forced to be interrupted. But why was Aiden implicated in a malignant murder case that he only learned about until now? On that day, as the on-dot site executor of Damien, who was both the master and partner, he had been active in the lobby on the first floor and had no opportunity to go to the second floor where the victim was located. Even after being counterattacked by enemy hackers, he quickly cut off contact and left the hotel lobby before the alarm was triggered. But why was he still identified as a target of assassination and became a sacrifice? Unfortunately, neither Aiden nor Xia Yuan can find the answer at the moment. The top priority is to get rid of the assassination. Aiden. My younger sister suddenly spoke out with a worried expression, did you seem to be around there that day? Did all of this have anything to do with you? No, I was. Fixing a computer for someone at the time, Xia Yuan looked at his sister Nicole and rolled her eyes when she heard, fixing a computer. He could only console herself, I can only assure you one thing, I know this matter will never happen much earlier than you. Okay. The younger sister, who also didn't understand the details, could only persuade herself that it was purely self-doubt, but the unease in her heart grew deeper. Although there was no expression on his face for the time being, Xia Yuan let out a deep sigh in his heart. If possible, Xia Yuan also wanted to immediately turn the front of the car and didn't want to take the family on such a life and death adventure. But whether it's the restrictions on the rules or to isolate the subsequent impact, Xia Yuan has to completely destroy this assassination operation, even if it will trigger a larger scale assassination later on. Forgive me. Xia Yuan silently apologized in his heart. Five minutes later, Xia Yuan drove all the way into the tunnel, and the invisible universal tool terminal he was carrying in his hand vibrated and prompted a message. A malicious signal was detected. Xia Yuan immediately sat up straight with his back, constantly paying attention to the rearview mirror in the head, 
until he suddenly heard the sound of a truck driving in the middle of the tunnel. He immediately turned on the scanning function of the universal tool, but noticed that there were only a small number of malicious signals in the driving position of the truck, most of which were behind the truck and were moving backwards. Although the truck was still hanging far behind the sedan, Xia Yuan dared not neglect and kept focusing on the three rearview mirrors. It was not until the sound of motorcycles mixed with the sound of the truck that Xia Yuan realized that the enemy was attacking with motorcycles, and the truck was blocking the back road as a means of action. Knowing the means of action actually eased his stress a bit, as fear comes from the unknown. But we can't be careless yet, Xia Yuan warned himself in his heart, we need to see how the level of the motorcycle killer team on the other side of the ocean is. Nicole, who also heard the roar of the truck, saw her brother's increasingly serious face in the driver's seat from the rearview mirror, and her heart gradually sank. The truck is less than a few hundred meters away from his car. The traffic situation in the tunnel today is also very eerie, with no other vehicles besides trucks and motorcycles. On this open road, they were able to rush over at such a speed, obviously to show their intention. It's just a pity that he doesn't even have a gun in his hand now, so counterattacking will be a bit troublesome. And most importantly, with her sister and her two children accompanying the car, how to maximize their protection is the challenge. The best way is to constantly bump over and knock them over as you approach, and to be very close to have suddenness. So, amidst everyone's stunned expressions, Xia Yuan untied his niece's seatbelt and lifted her up to his sister's hand, saying seriously, tie your seatbelt and always lower your head if you need to obey my orders. What's going on? Are you saying it's nothing to you? Sister asked anxiously as she tied Nina's seatbelt around. What did you do? This is a good question, I swear to God that I have nothing to do with this matter. Xia Yuan turned around with a helpless expression and explained to his sister, but these motorcycles are definitely malicious. After speaking, he chuckled self-deprecatingly. The only thing he could guarantee was that he had nothing to do with the murder of Ms. Rose. But do high-dot-ranking black hands need to care about the lives of the rat scum below? The masterminds behind the scenes are more concerned about whether the fermentation of subsequent events after this incident will trigger a change in the current ruling chain. Therefore, no matter how much he denies it, he becomes the object of suspicion, and those involved in this matter may have been dealt with. Even if the assassination is destroyed this time, it will not stop because the assassins are just dogs raised by a few bones. Kill one batch today, and recruit another batch tomorrow. And the problem with Aiden's sister's family can only be considered as additional damage, who knows, they happen to be together now. There are some things that cannot be clearly explained to the child, but Nicole understood immediately because of Eden's presence, he was turned into a substitute for the dead. In fact, there's a handgun in the passenger compartment. Sister seemed hesitant to speak, but quickly became firm in her tone for the safety of the child and said to Aiden, that's the gun left by the child's father. If you find something wrong, shoot it. Don't let them harm Pixan and Nina. Sleeping trough, this is the unique culture of the beautiful country. Can we not have food and guns? He opened the car cabinet and a Glock 17 with a black plastic shell slid in front of him. Picking up the pistol, he saw that the safety was intact and closed. After opening the safety, he opened the sleeve with one hand and checked, but it was not loaded. Remove the magazine again to check the amount of ammunition. Each magazine is filled with a full bunch of bullets, but there is no spare magazine. There are extra bullets, but it's better than nothing. After putting the bullet back into the gun body, Xia Yuan pushed the gun horizontally to his chest from right to left and loaded it onto the platform behind the steering wheel. Watching his nephew and niece trembling behind him in the rearview mirror, and his sister pretending to be strong but her legs couldn't help but tremble, Xia Yuan supported his brother with understanding eyes. He felt very sorry in his heart. But he prefers not to let regrets happen again. Morris led several familiar henchmen to ride motorcycles at a constant speed behind a truck. After passing through the middle of the tunnel, he gestured to his henchmen to divide into two groups to attack the sedan, 
and then all of them overtook the truck and began to move. As an illegal immigrant from the cactus country, he relied on black work to make a living from the beginning. After years of hard work, he has risen to become the outsourced cleaner of the largest interest group in Fengcheng, completely standing firm in Fengcheng. He doesn't know how many people there are in this car, what secrets there are, he just received a call to deal with one person. Recalling that phone call. Maurice. Yes. You have been activated, and we have found out through our search who the hackers at the Merlot Hotel were that day. You only have one target to deal with, Eden Pierce. Take him down. If necessary, his family doesn't have to let go either. This person's hacker career is over. His. Family. Is there a problem? No, not at all. I will handle them well and ensure that they will evaporate from the mortal world. He looked at the phone placed on the dashboard, and suddenly the phone, which had been in a silent state, lit up. The person coming was an unknown number, with only one message. You can take action now. He shook the accelerator and led several other motorcycles to follow. The speed of the motorcycle was very fast, and soon it caught up with their car, and soon began to divert left and right to encircle. A motorcycle on the right quickly began to parallel with him, which was interfering with his vision and distracting his attention. Soon, two motorcycles on the left began to run parallel to his car, which meant that Xia Yuan sedan was now sandwiched between several motorcycles. Looking at the familiar scene, Xia Yuan inexplicably showed a mocking smile, and he was not unfamiliar with the attack and killing process on the highway. Once upon a time, he was also one of the top motorcycle killers, but now he has gone from being a perpetrator to a victim, striving to escape from assassination, which can be described as a cycle of feng shui. This is not Xia Yuan's first time participating in a mission. In fact, during the previous trial period, he had already played the protagonist Shen Wei and Officer Shen in the world of Hot-Blooded Rogue. As an undercover agent who once lurked in the new Ani society, he also participated in many motorcycle assassinations and gang fights to win the trust of the gang. Although the ultimate result was the successful overthrow of a malicious tycoon, he illegally sent Shen Wei's close friend Jack Ma out of hiding overseas, and killed too many people while protecting Winston and Page, which was controversial. In the end, Shen Wei's position was preserved, but the evaluation was only a passing grade. Xia Yuan only received basic rewards for driving, fighting, and shooting LV.1 in the end. However, he did not regret it because the result was in line with his wishes, and that was enough. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Adventure, Counter Kill, and Escape You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Adventure, Counter Kill, and Escape Listening to the roaring of motorcycles on both sides, Nicole and her nieces looked around in panic, but Xia Yuan's heart became increasingly calm. He can tell the performance of the motorcycle solely by its sound. This is a modified motorcycle with modified engines and exhaust pipes, suitable for maintaining high speeds. However, he looks down on this behavior. Unlike these assassins who like to constantly modify their equipment to adapt to tasks, Xia Yuan prefers to use local materials when he is a motorcycle assassin, using whatever he has. But they have surrounded the car, why haven't they fired yet? Xia Yuan, who has extensive experience in motorcycle assassination, is a bit puzzled about this. Why did you put Nina in the back seat? It's just to make it easier for them to gather fire and attack in front of the car. Normally, if there is a gang feud, one would have to take out the M Act.10 or Uzi to splash water, but here it's just a siege. Wait, this seems like something that only high-dot-level assassins do, right? Cover up actual evidence in an unexpected way. Thinking of this, Xia Yuan felt a bit headache, he had a master. Because experienced hackers like Aiden, with sufficient financial resources, have their equipment or vehicles specially modified. He knew at a touch that the car had been bulletproof both inside and outside. There was filler between the outer wall of the door and the artificial leather lining, and there must be a lot of foam sealant filled in the tire. 
The front, rear, left and right glasses were expensive double dot layer bulletproof glass. The whole car can definitely greatly prevent the breakdown of submachine guns or pistols, so the effect of collecting fire and splashing water is not significant, but this does not mean that there is no way to harm the people inside the car. For example, as he watched one of the motorcycles prepare to slowly overtake Xia Yuan's car, Xia Yuan understood the tactics of these motorcycle killers. He wanted to disguise this murder as a traffic accident. However, there happened to be a camera ahead. Can employers access the public surveillance system to verify the killing results? Watching the rider in front prepare to place one hand on his chest and abdomen, and control the handlebar with the other, Xia Yuan knew it was time to start. But even under the immense pressure of survival on his shoulders, Xia Yuan was still amazed in his heart. It seems that the wealthy father of these guys is quite arrogant, using the highway camera as a verification. At the moment when the leading Latin American assassin was about to shoot at the tire, Xia Yuan didn't seem to like him. He slammed the brakes and hit Xia Yuan's head straight ahead, but at least he had a seat belt, which stopped him from hitting the glass. Bang! The bullet had just made a small hole in the ground by a millimeter in front of the car and made a loud noise, demonstrating its extraordinary power. It's so close. Xia Yuan let out a short breath. It seems like a armor-piercing bullet. If it were to explode the tire at that speed just now, it would definitely cause the tire to lock up and roll, making it impossible to escape a traffic accident. Although he didn't know why the assassin didn't directly shoot at the car window and kill him himself, he didn't hesitate to shift to second gear and rushed past them before they could react. Morris originally thought this was just an ordinary way of handling contracts. When he is activated, as long as he knows the target and its geographical location, he will lead someone to ambush and shoot at the target when the mastermind behind the scenes handles the surveillance cameras on the street. He will pretend to be at the scene of an accident or gang fire and then evacuate, and then end work. A very concise yet exceptionally effective assassination technique, Morris relied on this skill to become the first undercover cleaner of their behind-the-scenes interest group. Although still a small role, this is also well dot known in the industry. Just when he saw the target, he found women and children present. As a Catholic believer, although full of sin, he still wanted to preserve his principles. So he didn't shoot Aiden directly, but instead wanted to use an accident, instead, so that he wouldn't have committed the crime of intentional murder. That's how he convinced himself. Unexpectedly, I couldn't hit it today and missed it. By the time Morris and the others reacted from their confusion, Xia Yuan had already gone several hundred meters by shifting into fourth gear and forcefully pressing the accelerator. Chase. Morris, unsure whether he was embarrassed or persistent in completing the task, issued the order to chase over. They caught up and didn't see any other cars behind them. The younger sister kept her two children's heads down, as if she didn't want them to see any bloody scenes, but she persisted in raising her head and reporting the situation to her brother who was focused on driving. Oh my goodness, I just missed a hit and my mentality collapsed. Even while driving, Xia Yuan still had some leisure to comment on. However, while there was still some time left, Xia Yuan immediately aimed his phone camera at the highway camera that was about to reach the intersection, and was shocked. First, let's blind you guys. Several motorcycles behind immediately increased their throttle and followed closely behind, catching up with Xia Yuan's car in no time. Motorcycles are indeed stronger in acceleration than cars, and soon they caught up with the effective range of handguns. Morris was the first to pull out the pistol with a long silencer, and Xia Yuan recognized from the left rear mirror that the assassin was holding a sideshell pistol, which was one of the assassin's ideal choices. Bang 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 bang
Xia Yuan instructed his sister to lower her head to be on guard as the Latin American was about to draw his gun, so he didn't have to worry about the rear of the car being damaged. The trouble is with the rear windshield, where more than ten bullets hit it. The bulletproof glass was not punctured because the bullet had lost its kinetic energy and got stuck on the glass. However, the widespread cracks caused by it made Xia Yuan lose a good view of the car's rear view mirror. Of course, it's just a hassle, and there are also two mirrors left and right. When they got closer, it would be more fun, but Xia Yuan glanced ahead and still pouted in disappointment. We can't wait any longer because there are still a few hundred meters ahead that lead to the exit to the main road. Actually, it's also possible to go out like this, as it's just a highway not far from the exit. There is no way to suddenly modify traffic lights through the internet, causing a large amount of traffic to suddenly become vacant. In the eyes of a large number of car owners, I believe even the black hands who cherish their feathers will not dare to act casually, right? I dare not be a ghost. Heart to heart, if Xia Yuan personally did this killer, he would kill the target no matter what. Not to mention being in front of everyone, even if the president of a beautiful country is speaking live next to him, he must first kill the target before finding a way to escape pursuit. Don't be a killer or assassin without this belief. So, running away is useless. Instead of hesitating, it's better to take the initiative. He squinted his eyes, only thinking about how to use a car, and then killed them with his back hand. What are you doing? Be careful watching the child. My younger sister suddenly exclaimed, only to see Xia Yuan suddenly turn the steering wheel sharply to the left, and the car almost flipped over due to the centrifugal force generated by the rapid reverse gear turn. Fortunately, the speed was relatively even and there was still no overturning, so I pulled up the handbrake. At this point, the sedan suddenly became a stallion used to block the way. Then the riders suddenly sadly realized that the speed had just been too fast, and how to brake quickly was a problem. They didn't have seat belts. As an experienced veteran, Morris immediately used drift to move the motorcycle laterally to reduce inertia. Although I quickly fell to the ground and rolled several times before stopping, I managed to avoid a violent collision with the car. His horse didn't have as fast resistance to stress as he did. It crashed into the car with a loud bang, and everyone was lifted up and flipped over to the other side of the car. One of them chased after the person who was fighting for credit very hard, and he was also the person who hit the hardest. Seeing his neck lying on the ground in an unnatural twisted state, Xia Yuan felt a hint of sympathy in his heart. Unfortunately, their boss will have to pay for medical expenses. The opportunity to trade death for life was fleeting, and it was time. Xia Yuan pulled the handbrake, put on second gear, and headed straight to the entrance of the road. Morris had just fallen quite hard and was still lying on the ground. Suddenly, he heard the roar of a car preparing to move away. In panic, he immediately rolled and rolled to the side of the road. He saw Xia Yuan driving the car, clattering and crashing into the motorcycle, finding a direction to avoid a pile of injured people and flying away. However, in order to complete the task, Morris, who had reacted, immediately picked up his gun and fired at the rear of the car on the right side. However, one bullet passed smoothly through the steel frame between the car doors. Ah, mmm, -mm, the little girl suddenly burst into tears in fear. His mother. Xia Yuan was so agitated when he heard the cry that he almost ruined my business. He suddenly drifted fifty meters away and aimed his position at the Latin. In the window where the glass window had already been shaken down, he held the gun in his left hand and fired with a bang. Accurately hit the leading Latin's arm and thigh, causing the Latin to kneel on the ground with limp hands. But what are the consequences of scaring his family? Xia Yuanzheng, who suddenly had a murderous intent in his heart, was preparing to inflict some interesting torture on the Latin who provoked him. But the younger sister, who noticed that Xia Yuan's eyes were not right, anxiously called out to him, Aiden. Nina's okay, let's get out of the tunnel first. It also showed Nicole's fear in her heart, 
and Xia Yuan's terrifying destructive thoughts were suddenly extinguished he looked at the frightened and evasive eyes of Tina and Pixun, knowing that he had left a shadow in the hearts of the two children, and his heart was inexplicably painful. But there was no time to calm their fear. The fingers of the left hand pointed towards their own eyes and then towards the Latin. I will keep an eye on you. Then he immediately put on a gentle look, turned to withdraw his gun, got into the car, and encouraged his niece to roast. Not afraid, we will soon be far away from these bad people. After speaking, he closed the car door and drove away without looking at the thug behind him. Morris struggled to take out his phone with both hands and sent a draft text message of mission failure that was already prepared but never sent out. After completing the transmission, he looked at his subordinates who were not far away and were constantly howling and couldn't help but smile bitterly. I don't know if I can survive this time. After that, he collapsed to the ground and fainted. His injuries were also very serious. Xie Yuan was driving while using his phone to search for the nearest police station on the electronic map and report the shooting case. I don't know if it's a hallucination, but a prompt appeared in his ear. Detect a change in fate, and receive a lucky gift from Aiden. Is the system online? It seems that Eden Pierce is satisfied with Xie Yuan's actions and agrees to let Xie Yuan act as the executor. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Placement Contact and Rescue You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Placement Contact and Rescue While driving, Xia Yuan also asked Nina to thoroughly check if her niece was injured. Fortunately, after a preliminary examination, the bullet only narrowly missed Nina's calf and scared her. The bullet landed very close to Xia Yuan, but as long as it didn't hit anyone else, Xia Yuan didn't care if it hit him. A man's scar is a medal, but for a beautiful little girl, leaving a scar on her leg in the future will prevent her from showing off her long legs, which is likely to be a headache in the future. After driving the car for nearly 15 minutes, he turned to a county public security bureau. 100 meters ago, Xia Yuan stopped the car and carefully carried his niece out of the car, but Nicole still insisted on taking her by hand. Just deliver it here, I know you can't face the state police, said the younger sister with a slightly indifferent expression. This time, her daughter almost got injured, and her brother was mainly responsible. I will call you after the transcript is over. She walked closer and glared at Xia Yuan angrily, Aiden, promise me not to dwell on this matter anymore, let it go and see what trouble you've caused. I'm very sorry, although I don't know why they came to me, even though it had nothing to do with Xia Yuan himself, Xia Yuan felt an endless sense of guilt in his heart. However, Nicole had a vague intention of calming things down. Xia Yuan disagreed and felt that finding out the truth would better protect the family. I promise you, although I don't know why they are causing me trouble, I will find out the truth and settle this grudge, she said, Aiden. The younger sister didn't expect her brother to dare to say this to her face, and she looked very nervous. What's wrong with you? I want you to stop exploring this matter. Didn't you see that you almost hurt Nina? If you persist, we won't be spared. I know Xia Yuan doesn't want to cause trouble, but unfortunately, it doesn't work. Only by uncovering the truth is the right path, so Xia Yuan suddenly stroked his sister's shoulder with both hands and comforted her gently, but evasion has no positive effect, it will only fuel their madness. I promise you won't let anything happen to you again. Just as soon as she heard the last sentence, the younger sister broke free from Xia Yuan's shoulder, turned around and hugged Nina with one hand, and walked away without looking back with Pixan in the other, leaving only one sentence. I've heard this sentence thousands of times, but it hasn't been realized. Alas, it's probably because of this that the original owner felt so guilty about his sister. After watching his sister walk away, Xia Yuan couldn't help but mock himself, but still silently recited the system and looked at the new instructions given by the online system. Task Project Huabei Repayment, One Half, Task Intervention in the World Watchdog Intervention Scope Fengcheng Intervention Method Consciousness Substitution Main Task 
Opening 1. Spend 11 months enhancing oneself, top priority 1 third, 2. Copy the TOES 1.0 system, and the Universal Tool Terminal will open the full function to help download when the time is ripe. It will be launched 11 months later. Regional Tasks 1. Reverse the fate of niece Nina Pierce's death and protect her sister Nicole's family until they leave the world. High Priority Task, in progress, 2. Help Damien escape the trap. Optional Task Validity Period Today, P.S. As Eden's mentor, Damien's life state is protected and cannot be harmed. 3. Angels and Devils Mission details are currently blocked and will officially open in 11 months. 4. Defeat the boss and defeat the designated boss character in the system. The task will officially start 11 months later, and if it is not started, completing the kill will not be counted as a result, and the character cannot be resurrected. Task Rewards In the repayment status, only excellent scores can earn rewards. If the excellent score is not reached, all income will return to the system. Ah, it's indeed a capitalist system that eats people but doesn't spit out bones, Xia Yuan retrieved the projection state of the universal tool and sucked on his teeth. It just saved my life. As for the profits from confiscating my two worlds, can we repay them? There's nothing useful for him in this pure technological world, otherwise he would have been angry long ago. Although it's just a verbal argument, because the system basically doesn't respond. Besides, what reaction can Xia Yuan make? Isn't he grateful to the system? He is very grateful, but is he willing to be exploited like this? I'm definitely not that happy. Fortunately, it's just two worlds. Next time, be sure to avoid death. However, the situation seems very tricky. Since there is a so dot called Damien Limited Time Rescue Mission, as a cheap master, Damien may be in danger. I hope he can save him in time. Unable to figure it out, Xia Yuan had to first find a way to contact Damien, because he was the only person he had contact information with, just because he was also Aiden's work partner. But since it's only for today's rescue mission, wouldn't it be that he was successfully assassinated by the SODOT called experts sent by the upper class after today? Without delay, as no one was paying attention around, Xia Yuan first used the scanning device of a universal tool to scan the inside of the car for the biological traces he had left behind, and then used high dot temperature radiation to destroy the extractable parts. After clicking on the contact person's information, Xia Yuan made a phone call and looked for a car further away. He aimed his left hand at the car door and lit up a universal tool to open the jumper. The jumper function that comes with universal tools in the 22nd century is simply disadvantageous for electronic car locks in the 21st century. With just a few beeps, the inner lock inside opens. Sitting in the driver's seat and igniting the engine with a jumper, the voice of Damien finally appeared on the phone. The sound of the wind in the voiceover and his gasping breath showed the owner's urgency and nervousness. Shet, Aiden, have you also encountered a killer? It seems you need help, right? Damien's voice seemed a bit arrogant, but soon responded in a helpless tone, perfunctory, I am also helpless. Although I have taught you a lot, I am also being chased and cannot help you. All I can do is sincerely pray, goodbye. Well, I already got rid of the killer and wanted to come and help you, Xia Yuan suddenly interrupted. He knew from this arrogant tone that this so dot called partner and mentor, Damien, was a person who didn't get up early and didn't make any profit. Unfortunately, he had no idea that Aiden's current consciousness was a former double flower red stick proficient in various street assassinations, apart from not knowing programming. Moreover, he had never taught Xia Yuan, so why did Xia Yuan get used to him? So Xia Yuan also followed Damien's tone and responded, Ah, that's good. Thank you then. Coincidentally, my niece Nina has also been scratched and is busy in the hospital. Since you can deal with them on your own, I won't stop you from exerting great power. Goodbye. Don't hang up, didn't even listen to Damien's nonsense and hung up directly. 
Xia Yuan started the car and used the signal tracking module on the universal tool to find Damien's geographical location. Although this is a guy who has nothing to do with Xia Yuan himself, who gave him a time-limited side task to do. It's not embarrassing. However, airing this cheap master and partner on the phone is also harmless. Who would have called Damien with such a bad personality? No, there were two consecutive phone calls, both of which were choked by him. After all, Xia Yuanzheng is driving rapidly on the highway. Don't make phone calls or look at your phone while driving, that's something you must follow. Wait until nearby to pick up. Damien's hiding place is in the southern district of Fengcheng, which is also a famous slum in Fengcheng. After the failure of the public housing plan, the HOPE renovation plan quietly proceeded, but the crime rate remains high. Due to geographical and socio-cultural reasons, there are a large number of competition failures and lower-class residents lurking here. This is not only the front line of racial conflicts, but also the darkest breeding ground for crime. Damien also lives here, which means he had not been around for a few days before this interest group even had access to information about his hometown, which is the most important intelligence. Isn't this old guy so reliable? End of this chapter Chapter 5 Traceability of Indirect Rescue You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Traceability of Indirect Rescue D. Lili, D. Lili, Damien, are you too anxious to show off your great achievements to me? After pinching Diane's phone for more than ten consecutive times, Xia Yuan finally answered his call. At the same time, he had just put down a person who had fainted, who was also a tight hooded jacket, a mask and sunglasses, and carrying a silencing pistol. A phone was placed on her ear, and in an instant, Damien screamed hysterically, Where the hell are you? Damn it, Aiden, are you trying to betray me? Are you trying to betray me? Thank you for teaching you techniques so sincerely. You damn traitor, if I die, I won't let you go. Your family. Ah. What sound? Originally, Xia Yuan was prepared to wait until Damien finished talking nonsense before comforting him. Even if he threatened to deal with himself, it wouldn't hurt. However, if Damien said he wanted to deal with his family, Xia Yuan couldn't bear it. He simply increased the volume, wore medical rubber gloves, and fired a shot at the earpiece with the enemy's sound dot absorbing pistol. Give him a scare. Sure enough, Damien was as quiet as a chicken being choked. Xia Yuan then put his phone to his ear and said slowly, This time, you can scold me. I don't care. But if I hear any more of your malicious intentions towards my family, even if you say something, I won't bother you anymore, do you hear me speaking of which, Xia Yuan's voice was calm but firm. Okay, okay, I got it, mad. Damien's voice sounded like he had been sidelined. He was also a person who had been in society for a long time, knowing that this calm tone carried an ultimatum. Xia Yuan had not had time to ask Damien because he was quietly behind a thug wearing sunglasses who was looking around, holding an electric shock. While he was not paying attention, he suddenly gave him a strong electric shock on his neck, and after being knocked down, he dragged him into the corner. After finishing his busy schedule, Xia Yuan calmly asked, So, where are you now? Give me an address, and I'll find you. Thank you for the wireless earphone. Damien still doesn't know what happened to Xia Yuan's side. No, you don't need to come pick me up. You just need to help me get rid of the nearby agents. Then I'll give you an address. You drive to the watchtower at Naval Dock Park and we'll meet here tonight Damien doesn't want Xia Yuan to know his most important safe house. Is this still called the master? Does it seem that Damien only treats Xia Yuan as a target for exploitation and peers, or is this the rule of hackers? One's own safe house must not be easily displayed to others. Okay, I'll wait for you at this place after I finish. Although he had already learned about Damien's specific location through the universal tool, he didn't mind respecting the traditional culture of hackers for the task. Thank you, considering they have a signal anti-tracking system, 
I won't provide technical support for you anymore. You'll have to do it yourself. Good luck. Damien gave bearish encouragement. Fuck. Help you, we don't have technical support yet. It's not just about the mission, I don't even want to come. Hanging up his phone, putting it back in his pocket, Xia Yuan stretched lazily and moved his neck as he watched the flashing signals of the thugs who had fully exposed their geographical location after mastering the communication frequency on the universal tool. Hurry up and deal with them all, otherwise Damien, this shrinking turtle, will never dare to come out. Detective Montgomery, are you there, Detective Montgomery? Attention all teams, it seems that we have been attacked by a third party. Stay alert. Watching the wireless earphones on the ears of the assassin named Montgomery lying on the ground constantly calling and issuing commands, Xia Yuan felt a tingling sensation. The characteristics of the white-headed eagle country are worthy of the name, freedom, and anything can be bought. Wireless earphones like this can only be possessed by official or teams with official backgrounds in Asia, and even security teams have to go through multiple audits. In Europe or Africa, only top.notch secret operations teams or wealthy security teams have the financial resources to purchase. But what is the level of the killer team tracking Damien? They are not even first or second rate. As an outsourced third rate action team, there is no contract or onboarding insurance, and only a bounty team can have this kind of advanced equipment. No matter who is behind the scenes, he wants to say to him. Hey. You're so damn rich. Unfortunately, he cannot hack these equipment with serial numbers, and with his current level of knowledge, he cannot quickly wash away any traces and use them for himself. After completing this task, go back and seriously study the programming knowledge in Aiden's mind. However, with the information interference module on the universal tool module, he can also act like a top hacker, making it impossible for the cameras here to read his body data. In other words, he is invisible in the camera lens, which is a convenience given to him by the system. Unfortunately, the only requirement is that he can only use it when he is alone. Once there is a teammate around him, this function of the universal tool will immediately become invalid, restoring the previously invisible state. Fucking system. However, using universal tools in public housing areas is a bit like killing a chicken with an ox knife. Because except for some special gang warehouses that are guarded by dedicated personnel, no one dares to set up cameras on most of the roads here. After less than a day of installation, it will be dismantled and sold by those with intentions. After dragging the Montgomery detective back to the corner, Xia Yuan began hunting other assassins who had exposed their positions. Seeing a hoodie man holding a gun guarding the nearby public restroom, Xia Yuan picked up a brick from the ground and directly aimed it at the back of his head. With a metallic thud, the hoodie man passed out in a daze. Xia Yuan dragged him open the bathroom door, sat him on the toilet, took off his pants, and dressed himself up to use the toilet before closing the door. The voice of the wireless call remained as timely as ever. Agent Siwang, are you still there, Agent Siwang? We are experiencing a large number of layoffs. Attention all agents. Attention all agents. Attention all agents. Did you only notice the downsizing now? The responsiveness of this team's commander is also sufficient. If it weren't for Xia Yuan quickly climbing up the rooftop and targeting the sniper now, he would have been laughing uncontrollably and rolling around. But soon his grinning mouth turned away again, because he thought that it was these two third-rate assassin teams that had caused Aiden and Damien to go crazy. What right did Xia Yuan have to mock them? After adjusting his mindset, Xia Yuan calmly ambushed the sniper who was constantly looking around. He picked up a piece of broken brick and aimed it at the back of his head, quickly catching his gun as it was about to land and make a sound, along with his body that was about to collapse. He doesn't intend to use a gun, nor does he intend to kill, because he wants to braindrop the command more than a weapon-like operator. But you can't kill them, it's okay to knock them out and scare them. Black Island Agent, Black Island Agent, damn it. How did he do it, like a shadow? 
the leader's voice sounded hysterical. A rookie is a rookie, Xie Yuan, who had been hiding in the shadow, said disdainfully. There are only two left. I don't know which one is the commander. But there is only one way to verify it, he picked up a brick and was ready to knock someone's head. But when the complete brick was weighed in hand, it felt a bit heavy. No wonder the system asked me to spend some time enhancing myself first. Although my hacking skills are good, I still need to practice more. Xie Yuan, who was still a bit dissatisfied with Eden Pierce's physical fitness, decided on a plan for the future. A gentle brick slammed from a high place like a gazelle hanging its horn, hitting the last thug who kept running on the ground. He rolled his eyes and fell down directly, then was dragged into the corner by Xie Yuan Shun who jumped down. As he dragged along, Xie Yuan could still hear the hysterical cries of the commander on the public channel. Enough, all agents. If you're still alive, retreat immediately and freely. Retreat. 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 Damn it. As for the thugs who were knocked unconscious and placed in the shadow corner, Xie Yuan can only guarantee that they will wake up within 3.5 hours. But it cannot be guaranteed whether the equipment on the body is still there, and whether the buttocks behind will bleed is unknown. It seemed that these hired people would not bother him for the time being, and Xie Yuan began to calmly walk back into the car, suddenly rushing past a middle dot aged man. Wearing a work uniform, wearing a safety helmet, but wearing a pair of thick framed black glasses, carrying a huge pure black suitcase in his hand. Xie Yuan pretended to be looking at his phone without looking at the road, and directly bumped into it, oh my, both of them were knocked to the ground, the middle dot aged man immediately stood up and pretended to pull something out of his waist, but when he looked up, he saw that he was also a middle dot aged man with messy hair, wearing a worn dot out suit, and a worried face. Look at the road, you bastard. The middle. Aged man in work clothes looked around at the onlookers and immediately put down his movements, turning to scold the seemingly unemployed loser. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Xie Yuan immediately stood up, bowing and apologizing, ready to help lift the suitcase that had fallen to the ground. Don't move. The middle dot aged man in the work clothes immediately shouted fiercely. Xie Yuan trembled like a frightened squirrel and immediately withdrew his hand. I'm sorry, I just wanted to pick it up for you, he said to the middle dot aged man in his work uniform with both hands and palms, saying that he was harmless to humans and animals. This is something important, how dare you? If something goes wrong, can you afford to pay? If it weren't for everyone's attention, he would have even had the idea of pulling a gun. But I really don't know if the evil star who killed all their team members in the crowd will be monitoring them, so I can only quickly pick up my suitcase and leave quickly. Xie Yuan also changed his flattery and returned to a calm expression. He took out his phone, which he put into his pocket as soon as he met, and looked at the 100% match, prompt on the screen, with a slightly raised corner of his mouth. Let's see who arranged this scene. End of this chapter. Chapter 6. Joint Separation Comfort. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6 Joint Separation Comfort Even though the assassin team had all retreated, Damien still waited for almost two hours before coming out and drove for an hour to reach the designated location. Watching Damien looking around and about to make a phone call, Xia Yuan stood up from the crouching corner and greeted Damien, you're so late. Damien was so scared that she took a cold breath and immediately looked at the person who came. After seeing that it was Aiden, she took a long breath and scolded, I told you to wait for me here, not to ambush me. I'm sorry, but I also experienced a big mess, Xia Yuan briefly described his recent experience, and in the end, he said indignantly, what's more important is that I don't even know why I was being chased. We need a counterattack plan, Damien suggested suppressing his anger. It's pointless to just sit here and get angry. We should carry out electronic theft operations on a larger scale to see if there is any information we need to pay attention to. He patted Xia Yuan and encouraged him with a hopeful expression, this time we not only want revenge, but we also want to make a big profit. 
But Xie Yuan, who had already decided to temporarily hide in his heart, had a different opinion. I don't know who arranged this plan or how we exposed our identities, but the two assassinations have proven one thing. We have been exposed. So. Damien picked up her arms and stared at Aiden impatiently. So can we not act recklessly on the crest of the storm? We are just hackers, not explorers. Excessive curiosity and greed will only put us in danger. Just like you did at the Merlot Hotel. Aiden also hugged his arm and looked at each other without hesitation. How dare you say about the Merlot Hotel? Damien looked very angry, and when he mentioned this, he became even more angry. If I know the truth, I can tell from the background who attacked us from behind. We could have knocked on the door long ago, instead of almost being killed like a bereaved dog and now, your curiosity will kill you. Damien, Xie Yuan walked up to Damien without giving in. You are my master in hacking technology, but your experience in acting is not as good as mine. Listen to my advice. At least don't act casually until the enemy shows their feet. So an assassination accident scared you, Aiden. I didn't expect you to be so ruthless. Damien felt that Aiden Pierce was very timid now, and he looked at this matter with the mindset of a seasoned Terminator. We are hackers, as modern wizards, as long as there is a loophole in any electronic system, we can get what we want, and in fact, no system is meticulous and 100% perfect. If you were beaten badly by the assassin team, that's fine, but as far as I know, not only did you successfully repel the assassin team that assassinated you, but you also took your sister and her family almost unscathed to the police station, did you hack into my phone? Aiden squinted his eyes and asked. Hacking you? Damien sneered, no, it was your sister who reported the incident, and when the police entered the transcript into the national police system, the keyword alert program I set up across the entire network noticed it. When you come to help me eliminate the killer team that is constantly searching through the internet, said Damien with a playful smile as she looked at Xie Yuan. Xie Yuan was amazed by Damien's superb ability as an independent hacker, but he also despised having time to investigate him, but refused to even provide technical support for the sake of so. called insurance. However, it is undeniable that although Damien is a fragile person with almost no combat power, as long as he is not discovered, he is truly what he said. A modern wizard-like hacker, making impossible possible. At the same time, he was also fortunate in his heart that he did not randomly use universal tools in that slum. Mainly in places where he thought there was no possibility of a camera, and there was no need to kill chickens with a knife. Moreover, due to the presence of Damien nearby, the system automatically set the universal tool to fail and become invisible. It seems that the system still discovered that Damien has installed covert surveillance on the street. What do you think of the level of those people? Since you know that Damien saw Xia Yuan's performance, Xia Yuan politely asked Damien for his opinion. Although you are a top dot notch finisher yourself, from your hands dot on process, they appear to be a third rate team, Damien scratched his head and commented hesitantly. He is not completely clueless about the ending person industry, and he also knows that Aiden's level is inherently a top dot notch ending person background. So much so that I saw Aiden very skillfully killing a team in the video. He attributes it to the fact that this team is not inherently strong. Fixer is a group term that combines hitman, gunner, and carrier. It is a distinctive term used by Fengcheng to refer to local mercenaries. After entering the modern information society, the operational methods of the end users have become diverse and constantly growing due to the use of smartphones. If we really want to calculate based on the total power, the finishing group is the top wind city. Unfortunately, its loose operating system and the belief that it always aligns with the employer's position are bound to not be able to condense into a rope. Of course, this is also what the city's behind-the-scenes big shots hope for, such as the Southern Society. And when Eden was under the tutelage of the unremarkable Damien, he was a seasoned Terminator. Wrong, they are all top dot notch finishing teams. After two matches against the assassin team sent, 
he already knew that their strength and methods were actually top-notch. At the same time, in order to make Damien give up, he had to put the situation more seriously, such a team almost killed us in an accident because they almost got all our information. They can call a few or even a few similarly skilled ending people, and the more we jump, the earlier we die according to his memory, Damien understood him to be an extremely curious, greedy, and arrogant person. As a forensic technician, after fully learning the corresponding hacking techniques, he seemed to regard himself as an invincible king. That's you, not me, Damien confidently denied, believing that with his skills, as long as he comes from his background, everything can be done. I will reveal all the secrets and hold them in my hands to seize glory, wealth, and glory. So you go enjoy your glory, wealth, and honor. The two battles have already exposed too many of my shortcomings, and I need some time to improve myself. With that, Xie Yuan could only wave his hand helplessly and turn away. Good words are hard to persuade damn ghosts. Since this cheap master is so confident that he can lift the sky with only one hand, Xie Yuan will not try to dissuade him anymore. Improving oneself is the right path. Hey, don't you want a lot of glory and wealth ahead? I'll tell you, you'll regret it. As expected, Damien's angry shout came from behind, after all, compared to his ability to act, he couldn't participate in many things without Aiden. Ten minutes later, Aiden, who was driving another car to his hiding place, received a call from his sister Nicole. How's it going? Xie Yuan asked with concern, although his consciousness had only changed for a few hours now, slowly recalling the memories of the original owner Aiden, he was able to express enough emotions towards Nicole. As usual, I recorded the transcript and then the forensic investigators inspected the entire car. The car has been temporarily detained as physical evidence, but I am ready to erase the traces. The county police sent two patrol officers to escort us back Nicole briefly recounted the experiences of her siblings after they parted ways. Where are Nina and Pixun? Are they asleep? Aiden pondered for a moment, but still asked about the situation of the two children. To be honest, if he had encountered such a thing when he was a child, not to mention a lifelong shadow, his personality would have changed greatly, which can be considered normal development. They were scared, but also very tired. After giving them a bath, let them go to bed first. Nicole said softly about the child situation, paused for a while, and then asked her brother suppressed, does it mean you won't be able to attend Pixar and Nina's birthdays again in the future? It is gratifying to be able to escape the pursuit of the assassin, but it is not impossible for the assassin to come to the next wave. Nicole is well aware of the true meaning of Eden's request for their family to report to the police. But watching her brother face endless assassinations for unknown reasons alone, she felt even more uncomfortable. Don't worry, as long as you find out the truth, I can talk to the mastermind behind this order. Aiden seemed indifferent, I confirm that I haven't done anything that could trigger such a level of assassination. This is a misunderstanding, just eliminate it. Aiden. You're facing the pursuit. Don't think of deceiving me. You have nothing to do. Nicole suddenly roared, realizing her voice was too loud. She immediately lowered her voice, I know what you're going to do, but promise me not to do anything foolish. I know. But at this point, there's no other way to go except to uncover the truth and force the person who gave the order to take it back. Aiden explained this, suddenly realizing that although he can no longer physically go to his sister's house to wish his family a birthday, the technology he possesses can actually allow him to intervene. He can create a virtual intelligent holographic projector. Thinking of this, he suddenly said to his sister Nicole, tell Nina and Pixun to give me three days, and I will make them a unique gift to make up for their regret. Let's not say it for now, I love you all. Hanging up the phone, Xia Yuanmeng stepped on the accelerator and accelerated to his residence. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Value Added Program Gifts. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7 Value Added Program Gifts Front Projected Holographic Display, 
also known as virtual imaging technology. It is a technique that utilizes the principles of interference and diffraction to record and reproduce the true three-dimensional image of an object. In the era of 2170, this technology was a gimmick, based on quantum cores, and could even create virtual life forms that were both fake and real. In 2014, it was not very advanced, and the main quantum nucleons were quite advanced technology, which cannot be achieved by current Earth technology. However, there have been reports on the dark web that a startup company in California is developing a 3D holographic projection chip. The 3D holographic projector made with this chip as its core is only the size of a pill, but can achieve a resolution of up to 5000 ppi, with the ability to accurately control the brightness, color, and angle of each beam. The remote hacking module with versatile tools effortlessly broke through the company's server without triggering a warning and obtained corresponding research data. However, he has no intention of selling the virtual assets of other companies to others at will. In fact, after browsing through this information, he will plan to engage with the company's personnel to recover data and help improve the profitability of firewalls and holographic technology to earn rewards, thereby completing his value.added plan. As the old saying goes, poor literature and rich martial arts. Without sufficient family background, even if there are divine martial arts secrets, they are useless. Even excessive training will only lead to a short lifespan. During the 11 months, his self-improvement projects included physical fitness, shooting, combat, and programming language review. The first three items are aimed at enhancing Aiden's physical resistance, especially in terms of physical fitness and combat. In the future, he plans to adopt a stealth combat mode similar to rescuing Damien, which requires high physical fitness and combat skills. Aiden used to be a street thug in the gang, and before entering the hacking industry, he was a standard Terminator, playing more roles in the roles of transporter and thug. Because his profession requires his short stick hitting skills, after more than a decade of immersion, he has reached the level of his own school. This can be seen from the extendable short stick he always has in his hand, the EKA resistance swing stick made by Hans. Only by having an immense trust in one's own skills can one seek good weapons for it. But that's not enough, we still need to use this time to make up for extra classes in endurance and unarmed combat. Otherwise, just use a swing stick. What if the swing stick gets knocked away? As for the final programming study, Xia Yuan not only did it for Aiden, but also for himself, because it is still good to learn more skills when entering other worlds. As for Aiden, after thoroughly reviewing Aiden's memory, Xia Yuan realized that Aiden indeed had programming skills, but these skills were limited to writing software for electronically controlled gates and traffic lights, and could also be used to steal cars. But more advanced hacking techniques, such as writing powerful virus attacks that cause power outages in facilities. As a master, Damien did not teach him, not because Damien didn't know, but because he really didn't. At the end of the day, Damien only trained Aiden into a skilled hacker, using him as his foot and hand to handle contact tasks, but he didn't want Aiden to take his place. Although it was these mid-level hacking skills that made Aiden the elite among hackers. Three days later, outside Nina's apartment, a young man dressed in yellow courier attire impatiently knocked on the door and kept urging, Mrs. Pierce, we have your package. Can you come out and sign for it as soon as possible? I have been here for 10 minutes now, and I still have a lot of emails to send maybe it was really impatient, and the door suddenly opened a crack, revealing a pair of eyes full of doubt. Seeing that it was indeed a courier, and it was someone I knew, I opened the door, revealing Nicole's alert face, even if she was wearing foundation make dot up at the moment, she could not hide her haggard face. Although there has been no one to offend her in the past few days, Nicole, who has just experienced an assassination attack, would suspect anyone who glanced at her if they were the ones monitoring her. Every night, she dares not even sleep. As long as there are any clues, she has to get out of bed and take a shotgun downstairs to check. However, during the day, she still pretends to be okay and escorts the child to and from school normally. She has now reported to the police, 
although the Wind City Police seemed to have been trying to apprehend Eden Pierce with a wanted warrant on his head. But for Nicole Pierce, who has a legitimate profession with a good record of no criminal activities, activity planners, and choir assistants, and a rich but reasonable source of income, the police are also willing to put in effort to protect these high-dot-quality citizens. This is also the reason why Xie Yuan is willing to let go and let Nicole accept police protection. As a citizen receiving police protection, if he is harmed by underground forces, it is like slapping the police in the face. If the police are beaten in the face and dare not even shout, he can narrow the scope of suspicion of the ultimate mastermind behind the scenes. Although this move carries the suspicion of Nicole taking risks, it is equivalent to using her sister to test the power of the mastermind behind this action. But Xie Yuan believes that if a city's public security, procuratorial and legal forces cannot even protect a high-dot-quality taxpayer, then he no longer needs to worry about being questioned due to overly radical measures. This city is completely hopeless, waiting for riots. The cost will be a bit troublesome. As an elder brother, I can no longer freely contact people on Nicole's side, otherwise it will still increase the chance of bringing trouble into Nicole's side. But Xie Yuan is willing to pay this price, and Aiden Pierce may initially oppose it. The main reason is that ordinary Western people generally do not believe in the government, but if it is proven later that it can truly protect their younger sister. Even the true owner, Eden Pierce, would agree. However, even if they cannot meet, it does not mean that they cannot send the gift over, especially after he has prepared the gift, he takes the risk of invading the courier company and forging a delivery order, using Nicole's divorced husband as the shipper. Anyway, her ex-husband works in New York, and it doesn't involve him paying the shipping costs himself. It's reasonable for him to give his son a gift as a father. Although he didn't give it in the past, his conscience now realizes that even if he does, there won't be any flaws. So when Nicole received a delivery from her ex-husband, she basically guessed that it was from her brother, because her ex-husband had never given any gifts before, and more importantly, he didn't dare to approach Nicole's house. It's probably because her brother forgot about the experience of almost beating him into a disabled person, and Nicole can only shake her head helplessly about it. As expected, when the box was opened, the packaging consisted of two strange black plastic squares, with two beautiful blue circles on the top of each square. Accompanying it is an instruction manual about two square shapes, and the signature is undoubtedly Eden Pierce. This Aiden. Well, I really don't know why he can be so relaxed. Nicole's pretty eyes couldn't help rolling. But she finally knew the true purpose of these two square shapes, which was to find a gift box. Nicole sighed for this, and since the shooting incident, Aiden's personality has really changed a lot, whether it's good or bad. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 The Battle Before Retirement You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8. The battle before retirement just across from Nicole's house, there seems to be no one in an apartment, but the curtains have a strange crack. If you look closely, you can see a pair of binoculars facing Nicole's house. Inside the camera, there were two figures constantly secretly observing, one of whom had a laptop on in front of him, and the dim screen light illuminated a face wearing sunglasses. At this moment, he had been observing the figure of the house and making a sound. With a deep male voice, he asked the person behind him, how has the information about this courier and the package been checked? The man in sunglasses kept staring at the screen, which was displaying the ID photo and file of the courier, as well as the tracking information of the package. After browsing for a while, he finally spoke up. The information of the courier boy is confirmed to be correct. He is a working member of the courier company and has not had actual contact with the main target. Previously, he only received some pornographic messages. After tracing back to the IP, it was confirmed that it was a fraudulent advertisement and not related to the main target. The delivery information shows that this package was indeed sent yesterday morning from the ex-husband's company where the target was observed. Using the company's monthly settlement account, 
it has been confirmed that the courier has indeed received a package from their company and it is indeed a genuine express package, so. The observer pondered for a moment before speaking to the man in sunglasses, based on the information we have found, the relationship between the observation target and his ex-husband is very bad, and his ex-husband has hardly observed the target's family experience, and has not comforted the observation target. Why is the gift being sent by express delivery now? The man in sunglasses browsed through the information and replied, the information tells me that the ex-husband who observed the target and the main target had a falling out at one point. His ex-husband was once hospitalized and seriously injured. Although there is no specific reason, I think the focus should be on the main target, and recently two days ago, I observed that the target had a phone conversation with their ex-husband. As the main target had set up a program to destroy call records, it was difficult for us to extract the recorded content. The sunglasses man paused and asked the observer, if we really want to catch and kill the main target, the observation target and her child are a good weakness. Why can't we first control them? We cannot, replied the observer, who remained silent for a while before giving an explanation. This is the employer's revised request, and the observation target has been confirmed to be seeking protection from the police. Bloom's TOES 1.0 system has been fully implemented in the police system, and in its judgment, Nicole Pierce has been rated as a high-dot-value priority protection target, with severe consequences if protection fails. Unless it is confirmed that she has been in contact with the main target, no one can touch her, even the employer has modified the requirements specifically for the main target Eden Pierce as soon as the words fell, the laptop conveyed an alarm signal. The man in sunglasses immediately clicked on the prompt and saw Xie Yuan. Also known as Eden Pierce. From the clip captured in the video. Found him. Appearing in the Southern District, his portrait was seen in the camera of a bank's ATM machine. The voice of the sunglasses man abruptly stopped. What's wrong? asked the dark figure. He. Deliberately showed his face and waved to the camera. The man in the sunglasses said, and at this moment, Xia Yuan's movements. The sound of a plastic hard tube being pinched off was a snap, and the observer broke the signature pen preparing to record. He angrily said, is this inviting us to war? He wants to die. Central Operating System, TOES, abbreviated as Bloom's flagship product, is a computer software that controls the entire city's information network. Any public facilities, economic facilities, transportation facilities, including private information of citizens, can all be queried and used in TOES's records. With control towers with TOES partial codes distributed throughout Fengcheng, TOES has almost achieved control over the entire city. Unfortunately, besides the upper-class residential areas, financial areas, and relatively affluent areas, there is still one area that has not been approved due to insufficient funding, which is Fengcheng, South District, a famous slum. After discovering the trail of Xie Yuan, a large number of ending people appeared in the Southern District, which was much more difficult to deal with than the team that dealt with Damien last time. Although with the help of the signal capture and positioning functions of a universal tool, it is slightly more difficult to tidy them up than last time. For example, even if they were to search and surround the streets in small teams, one person was still knocked unconscious by Xia Yuan jumping off a high place. Then everyone else was knocked down with a swing stick within half a minute and climbed up to the rooftop to hide within 10 seconds. This is still captured on camera. We didn't capture any sneak attacks from behind or from the side. When the neighboring team received a call signal and rushed over in a hurry, except for the wailing assassin, they had already fled. In fact, this is Xia Yuan's strategy of asymmetric warfare. In most areas of the southern slum, due to funding and poverty, cameras cannot be set up, so the operation can only rely on the cameras brought by the operators as the eyes of hackers and commanders. But the effect Without closed-dot-circuit cameras monitoring the entire area for character recognition and localization, using only mobile action cameras for observation cannot make the combat environment clear. The difficulty in terrain alone knocked out 30% of the control advantage of the finishing team, 
coupled with Aiden's seemingly superhuman physical fitness and agility, making the pursuit team suffer unbearably. That is to say, Xie Yuan was afraid of causing personal grudges and went to harm Nicole, but he did not kill or beat the person to be disabled. To ensure caution, he would at most cause a concussion and multiple fractures, which are self-recovering injuries. Although it will take at least three months to fully recover. But this did not make the commander planning to search for Eden look much better, as the behind-the-scenes employer had already issued a mandatory requirement to eliminate Eden Pierce. Otherwise, it would be him who suffered. As he watched the gradually extinguished signal light, he inexplicably thought of the previous commander Morris who was chasing Eden. Since the failure of the mission, all sources of income for Morris have been cut off, and similarly injured subordinates in his team are almost facing the dilemma of being expelled from the hospital because they cannot even afford medical expenses. And Morris also has a despicable girlfriend whose brain was damaged by drugs and a young daughter. Coupled with his old grudges, he has been chased like a lost dog, not much better than his assassination target Aiden. He doesn't want to follow Morris's old path. Thinking of this, his eyes became firm. Aiden Pierce, this is what you forced me to do. If you die obediently, everyone will be happy. Why refuse to acknowledge reality? Since the last person can't beat you, then I can only find someone. I hope these scumbags won't target your sister. They won't restrain themselves like we do. He looked at his deputy and ordered, call Iraq, person's name, and ask for the help of Fanthroy to send people over. The price is easy to say. On the other hand, Xia Yuan Gang had just hacked into the earphones through the hacker module of the Universal Tool, and by increasing the current, a four-person pursuit team suddenly suffered severe ear pain and lost attention. Then, with his fist and swing, he quickly knocked them to the ground. Then, in front of everyone's eyes, he climbed up the window upstairs like a gecko with his hands and feet, disappearing into the corridor amidst the noise. When Xie Yuan reappeared on the street, he was already a hippie wearing a tattered jacket, with a colorful oil painting on his face, and riding boots on his feet. Although he successfully overturned the search of six four-person teams without any damage, Xia Yuan's face showed a serious expression as he listened to the conversation commanded by the ending person, and they called for the Vance Roy gang. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Hidden Calls You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Hidden Calls Fanthroy Gang the second largest underground force in Wind City, is a 100% black gang headquartered in Rosie Fremont, a community left over from the public housing plan period. Rossi Fremont is a notorious place of public order corruption, and the bloody news about this place can make people vomit. The biggest, but not the most important, factor that disrupts public order is the Fanthroy gang. Without Versailles, the community of Fremont would completely lose control and become a place of melee, but if Versailles were in Fremont for a day, there would never be peace in the Southern District. The highest leader of the Fanthroy gang is Anthony Wade, a former White Eagle soldier who, due to his years of participation in the Middle East War, is known to the outside world as Iraq. The reason why this gang is tricky is that the Fanthroy gang is not only very familiar with the local terrain and residents, but many of their thugs have also received some military training. Its average level has reached the combat effectiveness of elite militia, and there are also a large number of heavily armored soldiers like mine cleaners, making frontal conflicts very difficult to deal with. But the trouble goes beyond just having strong combat capabilities. Once the Fanthroy gang is involved, the situation will be different. Despite being a gang with a political agenda and ambition, Raising the banner of black equality. Its overall strength also ranks second in the Wind City underground world. But they are just gangs. The Southern Society will not rashly touch Xia Yuan's family, as he has not directly dealt with the Southern Society yet. Xia Yuan has actually been fighting against third dot party terminators. But if Fans Roy is directly brought over to fight with Xia Yuan, as long as there is a conflict and enmity between the two sides, who can guarantee that the gang members will not act recklessly against Nicole when their heads heat up. 
so Xia Yuan dare not involve Fans Roy again before his exit plan takes effect. This commander is also very bad. We must not give Fanthroy the opportunity or excuse to intervene. Unfortunately, we won't be able to deal with the commander this time. Since they have brought in Vaslo, it's time to arrange for a temporary exit. Please greet him well when we meet again. However, when it comes to the Southern Society, the underground world's number one force in the Wind City, Xia Yuan has always had the idea that it is the mastermind behind the scenes because its business covers both the black and white aspects of Fengcheng, including traditional club business and politics, many city councillors have received his political donations. It is also the most influential force in issuing such pursuit orders, with the arrogance of allowing assassins to fend for themselves after a failed mission, and the fear of not letting go of the mastermind behind the scenes even when captured. If it were not for the significant influence of the mastermind behind the scenes, they would not have achieved this. Like the leader who was buried in an electronic trap last time, Xia Yuan thought he could still easily find the actual information behind the scenes. After waiting all night, the next day while watching the news, he was found hanging at his own home. He still had no evidence to confirm whether it was the hands of the Southern Society. Indeed, although there is no evidence, he has a strong feeling that the mastermind is the Southern Society. Unfortunately, this is not useful for his task, only solid evidence can make the system react. Sir, our people noticed that the target had entered a second floor rental room. The commander, who was anxiously waiting for reinforcements, suddenly received a message saying, we have surrounded him. Is the intelligence true? The commander's expression brightened. If he could surround Aiden Pierce and destroy the entire building, he wouldn't have the ability to escape from the fire, no matter how capable Aiden is. But make sure he's surrounded. 100% true, confirmed by Toe's scanning that the person entering the house was Aiden Pierce, confirmed the voice on the walkie-talkie, but his next report was confusing, as soon as the target entered the rental house, they drove the people inside out, and the thermal detection showed that Eden was the only one left inside. Is he the only one left? The conductor stroked his gray hair and couldn't help but ponder. He was also an experienced member of the closing group and had heard of Aiden's name and his past before. Since he was left alone in a confined space. He had a desire to die. It seems that he also knows he can't avoid the outcome of death, the conductor sighed, but this is life. He alone can't avoid the Southern Society, so it's better to die early to avoid involving his family. Give him a dignified funeral, the commander ordered, burn down the house. Yes. I heard that your finishing man took the initiative to summon us, what happened? A young voice sounded behind him, and the commander turned around to see that it was Anthony Wade, the leader of Fanthroy. I didn't expect you to come in person, Mr. Anthony, the commander spread out his hands to welcome the arrival of the leader of the second underground gang. Actually, we have a tricky target. He is an action-oriented hacker who has been unwilling to submit, so we need your help. But now that the problem has been solved, he will soon lose his life due to an unexpected fire, poor person, really. Have you found out what kind of secret passage or basement structure this rental house has? Anthony asked casually, by the way, what is this person's name? Can you tell me? We have just confirmed the terrain and there is no problem. His name is Aiden Pierce. The commander revealed the target's information without reservation, after all, dead people cannot speak. Oh, Anthony raised his eyebrows, but with good facial expression management, he calmly replied. The adventure system is a fully functional large system that has both single player and online modes. However, Xia Yuan closed the online mode from the beginning and is not suitable for online mode. It is also equipped with the function of system mall, but unfortunately, it cannot be closed. So since the start of the official mission, Xia Yuan has had to fight against his own hands if it's not completely necessary he doesn't want to put any in the shopping cart. Because their pricing is unclear, in fact, the pricing of all products is not displayed, and their way of calculating the total amount is to exceed or not exceed the basic income of a world, 
which is the income obtained after completing all the main tasks. This is like a flower, you can use as much as you want, or I can use as much as you want, and I don't know how much difference I made in the middle. But today, Xie Yuan still reached into the shopping cart for the task. A replacement puppet, a primary service commodity produced by a system, is essentially a rather obscure and difficult to understand paper talisman. The process of operation is to mix a strand of hair or nail leather, preferably blood or drops, into a talisman, ignite it, and place it in the body's mouth. The talisman will automatically dissolve into the muscles of the corpse and transform into the host's appearance by modifying genetic information. And a portion of the host's consciousness can occupy this temporary body and operate freely. However, the time limit is only four hours, and there is also a side effect of consciousness requiring a deep coma of eight hours when returning to the original body. The commander and the mastermind behind him probably didn't expect that Eden Pierce, who generously went to die this time, was just a consciousness attached to a corpse that could be abandoned at any time. Completely unscientific operation. But it also perfectly allows oneself to pick out this crisis. So 15 minutes after the closing person and the others ignited the rented house, Xia Yuan sat in the only corner that had not yet been affected by the flames, using his phone's calculator application to count, muttering to himself. With this replacement puppet business, the debt I owe almost exceeds the basic income of two worlds. Cute. The system is really easy to cut. However, the benefits were also quite obvious. He finally felt that the little girl's death omen no longer shone, completely reversing the fate of this inevitable death. It was through Damien's connections that this body was obtained, and he probably knows the truth about my fake death. I have to tell Nicole that night, otherwise I'll have to wait eight hours before telling her. She'll never forgive me just as Xia Yuan was preparing to break free from the control of the corpse puppet, his phone suddenly rang. There is an incoming call display. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Training results after 11 months of calling. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 training results after 11 months of calling the control time limit for the death puppet is 4 hours, but after the incident, the original body experienced a coma of 8 hours, and now it has been 3 hours since the beginning. So Xie Yuan, who had originally planned to break away from this puppet's body earlier and reduce the duration of side effects, really wanted to hang up when he heard an unknown call coming at this time. But just as he was about to refuse the call, a sudden palpitations in his heart forced Xia Yuan to involuntarily press the call button. Get it. We've all taken it, then let's talk. Seeing the timer start, Xia Yuan could only helplessly make a call and say, Hello. This is bad boy 17. I see you seem to be caught in a fire, and I can help you find a way out. The person coming in was a low male voice, but there was a female sensibility and a unique tone inside, which felt like using a voice changer. Although grateful for his or her kindness, Xia Yuan does not need any assistance now, as this is not his true body. Therefore, he politely declined, thank you, but I do not need it. You don't have to do this, they won't let your family go because of your death, and do you think your sister will agree with you doing so? The bad boy advised, with a hint of provocation in his, her words, but his, her intention was good. Moreover, Xia Yuan is more aware of the uncertainty behind the scenes than he, she is, but at the forefront of the storm, he must undergo a death to temporarily numb these decision-makers, while also being able to turn into the dark to better protect his sister's family. So he politely declined the kindness of the bad boy 17, but he praised his, her behavior. I am very grateful for your help, but don't focus on me anymore. Go and see more of the underprivileged people who are being squeezed by this city. They are the ones you need to help. Goodbye. In order not to argue with the bad boy 17, he hung up the phone and started taking out a storage box from the four compartments that the executor initially had to put his relatively important items, such as a swing stick, keys to the residence, and identification documents inside. The system did not explain why storage space can only store four items at the beginning, and Aiden rarely uses it. 
Fortunately, it is a good advantage to be able to enable it at any time when consciously bound. When he finally had to put his phone in, Xia Yuan hesitated for a moment and decided to call his sister first to give her a preventive shot, so as not to suddenly encounter bad news. Hold couldn't help but collapse and it would be troublesome. I dialed the phone and waited for a while, but no one answered. After waiting for a while, I still couldn't connect after the automatic hang up. It seems like he really deserves Nicole's slap, Xia Yuan muttered with a headache, but he still had to find a way to pass on the information to her as early as possible. After all, this fake death was not meant for one's own people, but for the enemy. Nicole, Nina can't look at Pony Pony anymore, that's fake, Pixar can't look at Tom and Jerry anymore, he died so many times, he didn't even die. The text message will be sent to Nicole from Nicole's ex-husband, and whether she can understand Aiden's secret code from it. It will be known in eight hours. After confirming that the transmission was complete, he turned off his phone and put it in the storage box, then recycled it into the storage space. Watching the escalating fire, he took out a handful of broken teeth from his pocket and stuffed them into his mouth. These were his own teeth that Eden had collected since childhood, and they are a good cover for autopsy. I hope the original owner doesn't blame me, ha ha ha. After a vague self-deprecation, Xia Yuan launched a puppet control to lift it. Dear Mr. Quinn hello after the fire had been burning for two hours, the commander signaled the boss behind to release the fire truck signal. After two and a half hours of firefighting, search and rescue personnel finally found a highly carbonized body in a corner. Three days later, the autopsy confirmed through dental records that it was Aiden Pierce, and Nicole Pierce was immediately invited by the police to claim it. After seeing the tragic state of the body, Nicole Pierce cried and fainted at the forensic examination center. The forensic doctor had to work hard to wake Nicole up and had arranged for photos to be taken. But after intense sadness, Nicole Pierce still gathered her energy to handle her brother's funeral, but it seemed that she didn't bring the two children over. She seemed to believe that she couldn't let the children know about this bad news for the time being. I am confident that Nicole Pierce can temporarily arrange necessary personnel for 24. Our monitoring, and the trouble caused by handling it is much greater than monitoring. As for the commander and his main team, I will intervene and handle them at the appropriate time according to your needs, and all future troubles will be dealt with for you. Forever loyal to you Iraq. The calendar was torn off one by one, and it lasted for eleven months. In the outskirts of Chicago, Xia Yuan is practicing kneeling and holding a gun. The specific practice posture is. Three shells are placed on the barrel of the gun, and there is also a brain teaser on the phone next to it. The practitioner answers questions while practicing, and missing one is considered a violation. Punishment Method Learn to bark a dog three times. Bullet case falling from barrel, fine. Punishment method. Learn to bark ten times like a dog. How to prove it. Take a selfie VCR as a validation, while recording the scene of learning a dog barking. This is his training method of flipping back memories from the past. After an hour, Xia Yuan finished answering a hundred brain teaser questions and finished training. He stood up and put away the 14 Malawi and Kwacha's rifle used for training. After 11 months of value dot added training, Xia Yuan's face and body turned completely plateau red, and even if Nicole suddenly saw her brother, she might not be able to recognize him. Place the rifle next to the table and light up the versatile tool, which records the completion level of the entire training outline. I. Physical Fitness Training for the first six months, completed. 1. At 5.30 in the morning, engage in full body stretching training and carry a weight of 20 kg for 5 km 2. At 10.00, go to the gym. 150 dumbbells of 15 kg, 100 pulls, and 100 arm strength bars. 3. 13.30 Anti-violent sun exposure physical training. Hold the rifle flat hang a brick with a rope at the muzzle, and sun without moving for two hours. 4. At 16.00, 
train shooting targets for one hour, then practice backhand techniques such as sanda, hard qigong, etc. 6. Half an hour after meals, continue to load 20 kilograms and run 5 kilometers. 7. Stand for an hour at the horse step post. 8. The basic yoga practice of dragon elephant prajnaparamita additional physical training for the next 5 months. Completed. 1. 3 day swimming training. Dress up and swim 5,000 meters in one breath. 2. Triathlon once every 5 days. 2,000 meters for weight.bearing running, 2,000 meters for swimming, and 2,000 meters for cycling. 3. 7 days of off.road training with a load of 30 kilograms per 25 kilometers. 2. Shooting training progress. The pistol can be fired flexibly with both left and right hands, with an accuracy rate of 80% for single-handed shooting with the right hand and 60% for single-handed shooting with the right hand the automatic rifle technology has reached the level of senior soldiers and can initially serve as a precision shooter. Progress of 3 Fighting Training Scheduled for the next 5 months, clean up 3 gang strongholds in the first month, total time. 4 hours, fully triggered alarm, kill. 40 accomplices, no stun, leader. 2 disabilities, 1 death escape time. Escape from police pursuit 1 hour later. Clean up 3 gang strongholds in the second month, total time. 3 hours, fully triggered alarm, stun. 10 guild members, kill. 30 guild members leader. All death escape time. 45 minutes clean up 6 gang strongholds from the 3rd to the 4th month total time. 6 hours, alarm not triggered. Stun. 60 positions, no kill leader. All deaths were caused by unexpected reasons. Escape time. 20 minutes clean up 2 gang strongholds in the 5th month time. Every 40 minutes, no alarm triggered no kill, stun. Leader. All deaths were caused by unexpected reasons. 4. Progress in Information Technology Training Complete the basic programming learning and basically reach the level of Eden Pierce. Xia Yuan, Aiden Pierce, Total Skill Level Physical Fitness LV.4 Hacker Technology LV.3 Stealth LV.2 Shooting LV.2 Fighting LV.2 Driving LV.1 Overall Skill Evaluation Street Elite Thug, Double Flower Red Stick Progress of Dragon Elephant Prajnaparamita Skill Level 3, Combined with Recent Physical Training, It is Easy to Drive Non-Open Small Cars End of this chapter